if you can't take criticism whatsoever or literally at all, I recommend you not watch beyond 30 seconds. If you can't take criticism, the 30 seconds beyond will make you really wish why do I exist. I would rather not waste your time literally talking about something that you don't like. So basically, if you don't want to watch this rant, just don't bother watching. If you bother watching, then you're completely a complete moron and you did not take this warning seriously. This is a warning. Okay, what the hell is this? You can't be serious with this. Oh wait, is it a troll channel? Well, I, if it was a troll channel, I would be laughing. Why am I not laughing with this? Yeah, what even is this? I literally don't get it. Basically, this is super cool, teenager. What is he? Well, probably the worst channel I've seen in quite a while. Basically, if for a troll channel, I am expected to laugh ironically. Not literally see something like this and realize, what the hell am I doing with my life? Simple. YouTube is designed to be distracted, not to watch this god awful content. Because this is literally wondering, what am I even doing with my life? So, literally, this is basically a fight scene. If you count as a fight scene, you have to stretch a very goddamn definition of it. And literally, there's really difficult things to say about it because there's not much happening. It's not even a fight, it's just still images having a goddamn orgy. So basically, it's not that fun of a fight scene, so let's move on to the next. Okay, now I'm watching a better image than the entire ep video. Super Cool Kid, the movie. Well, thank god it's cancelled because literally nobody wants to watch it anymore. And what the hell is this character? Why is he here? What is the explanation? No? Nothing? Well, that's not a movie. You need goddamn explanation or, I don't know, a plot. And why the hell? Okay, crossovers can work. This is types of them that doesn't work. Why is he here? Why does this make any sense? Um, no sense whatsoever? Well, if it made no sense, why am I not laughing? You can't risk logic just for humor. This is not funny. And basically, they're just moving the images to classify speeches. Basically, they're just saying dumb stuff. It's not funny. It's just boring stuff. And then uh, suddenly, this guy comes. What the hell? The Emoji Movie is a dead meme. And basically, he's just the villain here because he doesn't like the movie. I don't want to just explain how dumb that is, but literally, if he's trying to replicate how bad the Emoji Movie is, he's doing a goddamn good job. So basically, they're just having a complaint of the fight, and just pretty much doing nothing. And then suddenly, we call this a punch. Um, a punch needs to be powerful, not moving images. Basically, if you want to animate, spend months of time and effort. Not literally waste your life over still images over a god-awful app. This is literally speechless stuff there. The reason why this microphone quality is so bad is because literally this video is so bad where it's so bad where the quality doesn't work on it. There's no quality in this video whatsoever. It's really hard to literally make this microphone decent just so because watching this makes my jaw literally go right the hell down. I mean, he wasted probably two dollars just so he could just put images in Puppet Pals for no reason. If you don't know what the app Puppet Pals are, it's a terrible education thing. It's not funny. It's just probably the worst app I've probably experienced in quite a while. It's just there just to make god awful stuff like this on YouTube. And basically, they're just. Now I visited making an orgy. Just congratulations. You're just making me extremely uncomfortable. And now this guy just wants to run away. Why? For no goddamn reason. I'm just shocked. Anyways, there's not mu that much to talk about the other video, so next video. Now we have a grounded video. Why is Shadow the Hedgehog here? He doesn't act like this whatsoever. He would literally save the world of random stuff that is dumb that Sega throws at him. But nah, he's grounded for some reason by this dumb kid. Basically, this dumb kid acts like the king here. That's what his character is. He acts like the king. Basically, you're saying you're grounded, and I'm just saying to myself, um, is he secretly sans? Because there's no way people can obey him. He's so literally wearing a Minecraft search shirt. There's no way you could take th this kid seriously. Even as an image, you cannot take this kid seriously. Or a teenager. Because literally, wearing a Minecraft shirt does not make you intimidating. And there's the app logo, just to make sure what you're actually watching is garbage. Anyways, the last video before I start repeating myself. We basically have this kid just going into a place that I really don't care about with Steven Universe characters for no reason. Now, he basically 
attempts to enter by just mowing the images down because he can't animate and Oh, wow, a better movie. Yeah, Dex Dog Detective, an actual better character than what these three have in this movie. Basically, I would rather watch Food Fight than this. At least it makes me ironically laugh at times. Basically, he's just complaining, I don't like the movie for no reason. I mean, literally, he's a detective. He has skill to literally wreck this kid. The only reason why he's not wrecking this kid is because Steven Universe is there, and literally, of course, Steven Universe is overpowered as hell in the show. Now he's just pretty much just having another orgy because there's no fight scene whatsoever. You have to stretch a definition of fight scene in this scene. And now they're just doing this for no reason. He's just... I... There's... I'm speechless. I'm goddamn speechless. There's no goddamn effort or time or ironic enjoyment in these videos. I mean, what is there to talk about aside from the six minutes I've been wasting my time and I'm making that warning for 30 seconds before you lose your mind about the criticism? There's not a single good thing about it. And there's not even some ironic thing funny about it. Unless you never watch a troll channel, you might laugh once. But I, that is very stretching it. It's just no effort. It's literally no goddamn effort. And now they're having another orgy. What? And basically they're just saying now to stay away for no reason to literally do nothing. I mean, a movie has a plot. Where's the plot? It's cancelled because it's literally, he ran out of ideas. Um, where's the ideas? He n never had any ideas with his movie whatsoever. You need to have an idea first to make sure you ran out of ideas. He had no idea what he was doing making these series these movies, or quote-unquote, fanfiction god-awful videos, because this is unthinkable. Just think about it. It's a fanfiction. It's a goddamn god-awful fanfictions I've been seeing for years. But this time, this is the worst fanfictions I've seen in my life. Now, anyways, let's see. Yeah, that's it to talk about. Dex just left, and now they're just talking about dumb things now to the next movie thing to fight, just to ruin your childhood. Basically, I would end the video here, but literally... I'm thinking of the original one. I'm. This has been planned for a week for the script to be written. Or any effort of a script has been written whatsoever. Because this kid is so difficult to talk about. Or teenager. Because he changed his name for no reason. Other than he quote unquote ran out of ideas for his movie. Which you need a plot for a movie to make sure it's a movie. So basically, look, a full stop. Now it's ended. It's a full stop there. There's a full stop in the sentence. See? Sentence stopped. Full stop.